Today I came with some problems from German entrance examination of high school and it will definitely be difficult for you to read this so I've used Google Translator to translate this in English and the first question tells given a function fx index k which is this cubic function which is depends on k is all real except 0 and x is real number uh, for what value of k uh, the local maxima will lie above the line y equal to 1. You can avoid analyzing the extreme case, of course, for x real. When x is infinity, it's going to infinity. x minus infinity to go to minus infinity. So we start with differentiating this. As you can see in Lawson is the solution, which is provided over here. So we'll differentiate and we'll take this double derivative. We'll set the single derivative to 0 which gives 3x minus 2 times 3kx minus 2 so we have two point of extremas x to third and x to y 3k at x equals 2 by 3k if i'll set in this double derivative uh, you can see uh, that that will give you the value of kk cancels so we'll have 12 minus 6k plus 1 so that can be positive or negative according to the value of k but if i'll put 2 by 3 in the function i'll get minus 4 by 9 k plus 12 by 9 and if that output has to be above the line y equal to 1 so k is forced to be less than 3 by 4 right so under this condition of course we can check for the double derivative uh, will definitely be lesser than 0 for k less than 3 by 4 so clearly x equals 2 third is one of the solutions where you'll get like local maxima for k less than 3 by 4 we can analyze you can local maximum cross and the line y equals 4 in the plane x y z you need to find the one of the tetrahedrons is 1 by 3 into area of base into height height you can calculate it's like from this pythagoras theorem we got OV square equals 19. So you can calculate O and OV value, multiply and get root 95. It can be done in another way as well. Of course, you can use the volume of parallel pipe concept where 1 by 6 times AVC can be applied as well. So that was another way of doing this problem. You could have taken sides at AVC and used Pythagoras theorem repeatedly to get those numbers, and hence it can also be solved in that way. The other way was to find the area of this triangular plate, which is the base using half A cross B, right? Because you can set the 5, 6, 7 length is known. So accordingly, you can create five vectors. And with the help of that, you can find the area. And 1 by 3, area vector times height is distance of from the origin from the plane, triangular plane. And that will also give you the same answer over here, right? So here they have used the word here, pyramide, means it's pyramid or ABC, a case in our language is the title. Let's try one more from this interesting question. So you have a function f of x with this quadratic over here, parameter a. As you can see on the leftmost side of the graph, the angle bisector of the coordinate y equal to x line is touching the parabola and the y interceptor parabola is at 6 means the parabola is passing through 0 comma 6 so x 0 y 6 is clearly satisfying the function the first thing is you need to find what for what value of a the y equal to x line will test the parabola second is dj parabola will okay second is like this parabola is reflected along the line y equal to x and then further is reflected along the coordinate axis Right, so first you reflect this parabola in y equal to x line. Let's say that reflection is P2, reflected along x axis P3, back to y equal to x P4, then to y axis P5, x axis again P6, x axis again uh, P7, and then reflect with y equals minus x axis P8. So you are reflecting this repeatedly along the line y equal to x and y equal to minus x as well as along coordinate axis so it will form these pictures a start time picture what is the area of them the first part is very easy because you can use either calculus or quadratic expression 
you solve this expression with y equal to x and force d equal to 0 so that will give you a value of a or you can find the derivative and the slope at the point of contact must be 1 I think probably that's what I have done and set that slope to be 1 so that you'll get the point of contact of this parabola with the line is 2 root 3 comma 2 root 3 other part is just I can integrate in this small star region so it will be 0 to 2 root 3 fx minus x and this calculation leads you 4 root 3 remember to multiply by this 8 right so we get final answer is 32 root 3 so i hope uh, you are enjoying these sessions and this was fun just to check how in germany high school students are trying to attempt this kind of paper thank you i'll come with more interesting problem and relevant for JE preparation. Of course, these problems was up to JE mains level. So in next lectures, we'll again give you surprising context behind some special topic. Thank you. Have a good day.